Alright, so today we're going to talk about each problems that you sent in. Uh, sorry, wala tayo ng usual na intro video. I'm really not feeling well. That's also the reason why I mentioned about buying bosses ko or mas mababa than the usual. <clears throat> I've been trying to regain my voice, but uh, since it hasn't been uh, possible for me to entirely rest, um, then we have this muna. I just wanted to make something new for you to study and para din maabot makaabot itong mga questions that you sent in before the actual exam. So, I'm making this. Uh, hopefully, by tomorrow, I can be uh, a little bit better so I can make better content for you guys. But for now, ito muna tayo. Alright, so this one was sent um, by Fahad uh, Makala. Sabi niya, in 10 years, Christine will be six times older than she is today. What is her current age? Uh, it's the same method, actually. Since isa lang ang tao, isa lang si Christine. Tapos yung time period niya, okay, ang time period niya ay you have in 10 years, which is in the future, so that is plus 10. And then you have uh, today, which is the present, your zero point, yan din ang current age niya. So dalawang time period, you have your present, okay, which is our zero point. And then your future, yung in 10 years natin, which is plus 10. Okay? And dahil wala siyang options, we're going to solve it using the traditional method, which is yung algebra. Kung ang hinahanap ay ang current age ni Christine, this will be x. Age niya in 10 years will be x plus 10. And ang sabi nung sa equation is that yung age niya in 10 years, which is this, will be ay equal. So, x plus 10 is equal to 6 times nung kanyang age today. In this case, that is x. So, this will be 6 x. Yan ang ating equation. But again, uh, if hindi kayo makarating sa equation, ha, uh, use the table technique na lang, may options naman sa, sa exam. If hindi nyo para papalagin yung video na yun, I'll link it up here dito sa taas. Just click the I so you can watch it. Kasi again, there are a lot of people na hindi makarating dito sa equation na ito. Okay? So, isosolve ko lang ito. Yung x, ilipat natin doon para manatili lahat ng x sa isang side. I would rather move this para positive pa rin siya. So, 6x minus x and then this will be 10. So, 10 is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5 para makancel. So, you have x is equal to 10 over 5 or 2. Okay, so the answer is that Christine is currently 2 years old. Now, if you want to make sure, just so I can prove na tama tayo, you can substitute 2 dun sa x. So, we have 2 plus 10 is equal to 6 times 2. And if you notice, it's the same kasi 2 plus 10 is 12. 6 times 2 is 12, so tama tayo dyan. The answer really is 2. Okay? So again, ang susi is the table. Fill in every information, create your equation, then solve it. That is how you do it kapag traditional method. If not, you can fill out your table, tapos um, you can just substitute using the options. Okay? This next question, pinadala ni French Lawrence. Sabi, Sam was born 6 years before Noel. In 2000, Sam's age was two years more than four times the age of Noel in 1995. How old will Noel be in 2020? So again, same same time ng process. Ilan ang tao? We have Sam and Noel. In this case, ang time period, hindi binigay. Ang sinabi, actual years. So you have 2000, 1995, and 2020. So ang gagawin natin, ipipila lang natin siya. Siyempre, yung, yung pinaka uh, malayo sa past, uh, yung nauunang year is 1995. So, I choose to put it right here, 1995. And then, you have 2000. And then, you have 2020. Okay? And then, ang sabi dito, okay, in 2000, this is here, uh, Sam's age was two years more than four times the age of Noel in 1995. Ang inahanap, how old will Noel be in 2020? So, ito yung magiging X natin, Noel in 2020. If we fill in lang natin yung gap for all of them. Now, you can use uh, this method instead para simple lang, mas dumali at least yung perspective natin. Hindi natin mano-manong move every time. You can turn 2000 into your zero point. Kunyari, yan ang present ninyo. 1995 will be minus five kasi minus five um, 1995 dun sa, as compared to 2000. So, for example, 10 years old ka dun 2000. 1995, you will be 5 years old. Ito naman 2020 will be or plus 20. Okay? You can opt to do that. That way, when you start traveling to find yung mga nawawalang information, sabi kasi, dun sa equation natin in 2000, Sam's age, so ito yon, and then 2 years more than 4 times the age of Noel in 1995. So, ito yung mga binilugan ko yan, yung mga necessary na part dun sa equation na bubuoyin natin. So, ang goal mo, paano makakarating doon sa 
mga yan. Okay? Using your given information. Ngayon, kung ex si Noel, since Sam was born 6 years before Noel, okay? Ang unang tanong mo, sino mas matanda? Okay? So, sa Tagalog, si Sam ay pinanganak, I am na taon bago si Noel. So, ang tanong, sino mas matanda sa kanila? Okay? So, again, kung, na, kung uh, kunyari, ikaw ay pinanganak 6 years bago ako, pinanganak, okay, you will be older than me. Right? Hindi ka mas bata. Doon magkakaroon ng problema pag hindi nyo naintindihan itong sentence na to. So, again, tagalugin ninyo. Si Sam ay pinanganak 6 years bago si Noel. So, 6 years siya pinanganak bago si Noel. Ibig sabihin, bago pinanganak si Noel, naka 6 years na si Sam na buhay. So, ang mas tatanda si Sam, this will be x plus 6. Because if you do it the other way, which is if you turn this into x minus 6, you'll get a different answer. However, kung x minus 6 kasi ito, ang, ang ibig sabihin na nun, mas bata na si Sam. Ibig sabihin sinong nauna, sino ang born before, magiging si, uh, si Sam ang mas uh, nakakabata. Okay, magiging x minus 6 yun. So, mauunang ipangalak si Noel. Pero, uh, obvious naman sa sentence, Sam was born 6 years before pinanganak si Noel. So, dapat mas matanda si Sam. Kaya siya yung x plus 6. Okay? Now, paano makarating dito? Gagawin natin, again, we're moving pa left. So, yung dating plus 20 na pa ganun, Bawawasan na ngayon natin ang 20. So, this will be x plus 6 minus 20 or ano na lang. Gawin na lang natin siyang x minus 14. Okay? Sinolve ko lang siya. Okay? x minus 14. And then, this x, gagawin natin x minus 20 para makarating dito sa 2000. And para makarating siya sa 1995, this will be x minus 20 minus another 5. Okay? So, again, kasi pag umaatras ka ng edad, nagbabawas ka ng edad. Okay? So, parang 25 years ago. So, this will be x minus 25. And then, the equation is, in 2000, Sam's age, okay? So, ito yung age ni Sam, which is x minus 14, okay? Was or equals, okay? 2 years more, so 2 plus, 4 times nung, okay? Age of Noel in 1995, which is x minus 25. And then we're just going to solve for x. So x minus 14 is equal to 2 plus, and then you have 4x, we distribute natin yan, minus 100, kasi 4 times negative 25 is ne minus 100. And then you have, iwan natin yung x sa isang side. I would choose na ilipat yung x dito sa side na to para positive siya, eh, para madatili siyang positive. So magiging 4x minus x. Itong 100 na yan, tsaka yung 2, ililipat natin doon. Since uh, minus 100 or negative 100 plus 2 is uh, negative 98, yun na lang ililipat natin dito. So, you have negative 14 plus, and then you have magiging positive siya, 98, kasi yung dating negative, pag tinaraspose mo, magiging negative. So, that would be 3x is equal to, and then 98 minus 14, that would leave you with 84. Okay, positive kasi mas malaki yung 98 na number. Divide natin both sides sa 3. That will give you x is equal to 84 divided by 3 or 2. The scary tayo ng 2 doon magiging 8, 28. Kasi 28 times 3 is 84. Okay? So the answer would be x would be 20, uh, 8 in 20, 20. Now, to um, solve kung tama tayo, you can just plot the information here. Uh, if you put 28 here, this would be 34. Iuurong natin kung 28 siya in 2020. Minus 25, that would be 3 years old. And then itong 34 minus 20 would be uh, 14. And then if you uh, multiply this by 4, that would be 12 plus 2, it will still be 14. So tama tayo doon. The answer really is 28 years old. Okay? So again, ang key dito is this sentence here. Kung hindi nyo naintindihan yun, ito ang slate nyo yung Tagalog para hindi kayo magkamali. Para hindi maging, eight minus, maging x minus 6. Uh, ito. Kasi dapat x plus 6 siya. Again, ang tanong mo lagi would be, sino ang mas matanda? If Sam was born 6 years before Noel, who is older? Ang mas matanda si Sam. So, kailangan plus 6 instead of minus 6. Okay? Next, this one is uh, sent by uh, was sent by Rigo Orcales. Sabi niya, Kara is two-fifths of her mother's age. After eight years, she will be one-half of the age of her mother. How old is her mother now? I guess ang challenge naman dito is the fact na may fractions dyan. 
Pero huwag kayong matakot kasi it's the same technique. So, you have Kara and yung kanyang nanay, yan ang ating tao. Ang time period mo, you have uh, is, that is in the present. You have after 8 years, which will be plus 8 in the future. And then, that's it. So, you have present and future or plus 8. Ang hinahanap, how old is her mother now? So, ito yung magiging ex natin. Now, tignan natin yung first sentence. Sabi, Kara is, so yung edad ni Kara is equal to 2 fifth daw nung age ng kanyang, of, is times, ng kanyang mother's age, which will be your ex. So, Kara will be 2 fifths of x. And then, after 8 years, which is here, that would be your 2 over 5x plus 8, she will be 1 half the age of her mother. Now, kung x yung mother niya ngayon, in 8 years, that would be x plus 8. So, ang equation mo would be, uh, she, which is going to be Kara, that's what I'm refer to in equation. So 2 over 5x plus 8 will be, so equals 1 half, okay, of, so times, okay, the age of her mother. Kailan yon In 8 years. Kasi again, wala namang specify dito na now or currently. So 1 half ng x plus 8, which is yung age ng mother niya then, Okay? And then we just solve for x. So in here we have 2x uh, 2 fifth x plus 8. And then it is distribute lang natin to so you will have 1 half x plus and then 8 over 2 which is just going to be 4 and then pagsasamahin natin lahat ng x sa isang side. Now um, this will be easier for you if you know your uh, fractions kasi you would know na mas malaki yung 1 half kaysa sa 2 over 5. So, ito ang ililipat ko doon at yung 4 naman ang ililipat ko doon. So, you have 8 minus 4 is equal to 1 half x minus 2 fifths of x. This will be, nilipat ko lang dito yung solution natin, 4 is equal to, and then yung 1 half minus 2 fifths. Ang 1 half kasi, uh, i, kung i, na long cut natin to na i-LCD natin siya, that would be 10. This will be 5 over, over 10 minus 2, oh, which is uh, theta times 2 mo, so minus 4. So, this will be 4 is equal to 1 over 10 ng x. Okay? So, again, didalaw lang natin yung fraction side niya. Walang pinagkaiba yan dun sa ginawa natin, kunyari, 3x minus 2x. We just subtract yung uh, first name niya, which is the digit part. In this case, fraction siya. So, fraction fraction part, subtract din din natin siya. Okay? So, 4 is equal to 1 tenth x. Para mawala yung 10, i-multiply natin siya sa 10 pareho. So, 10 times 4 is 40. In this case naman, para makancel yung 10 kasi magiging 1 na siya. So, 40 is equal to x. So, ang age ng mother is 40 years old. Okay? So, again, um, ang tricky part na is dahil may fraction siya, pero wala namang mababago sa process. You just need to practice more to build up your confidence. Pero again, if you, even if you don't get it, usually sa exam, you have one or two questions of this naman. Use the table technique para meron kayong chance at getting the right answer. And then if not, then you can uh, pay your attention naman to the other questions which will be easier for you to solve. Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. And again, if you haven't yet, click subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon para malaman niyo sa so new video posts. Hopefully, from now until dumating yung exam ninyo, I'll be posting regularly as much as I could para you would learn more for that, uh, for yung uh, exam ninyo. Okay, so thank you guys for all your well wishes when I had my birthday. Thank you for all the gifts and all the support, all your prayers. It's really a miracle that I'm still standing here and mezo my unting bosses pa ako. Hopefully by tomorrow everything's okay so I can start filming more. Thanks guys and uh, yun, thank you ulit sa lahat ng God bless sa inyo lahat and aja aja kayo I'll see you on my next video soon. God bless. Bye for now.